You know, we'll go to any lengths these days to grow our own fruit and veg, whether it's a community veggie patch, a curbside verge garden, or even a balcony harvest. So it doesn't matter what size your plot of dirt is, you can get started this weekend. And it looks like you're already into it, Cathy. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Now, look, the whole garden's looking fantastic. Green thumbs everywhere, veggie garden, barren. What's going on? I had an accident. Oh. And I've got plates and staples in my foot, so I can't bend it. Oh, great. And it restricts me from doing my garden, which is my passion. I usually plant tomatoes. I make a lot of relishes. Right. And um, I can't at the moment since my accident. How about a deal? I'll swap you for <laughs> some jams and jellies <laughs> and chutneys if we can put in a whole new veggie patch for you. Most definitely, Graham. That'd be a good deal? Yep, definitely. Done. Thank you. Beautiful. If you've grown veggies in a plot before, you really do need to start from scratch. But more importantly, because Cathy can't bend, we're going to raise the beds so she can garden at this sort of height. Now, our garden bed construction, the process is pretty simple. Just some pine railway sleepers in each corner. We're putting three posts on either side. By staining the timber, it's going to preserve it and it's going to last a lot longer. Now, you might notice we've actually used half-size sleepers, keeping the cost down, but we've got five posts, so we're keeping up the strength. And also, keeping the strength up with the galvanised iron. It's light, but really strong. And when you look at it, it's so Aussie. There are lots of reasons why you have raised garden beds, not only because it's comfortable, but maybe you've got really shallow soil, possibly rock, maybe even concrete, or maybe your soil is just shocking. Well, you can replace it with really good quality garden mix. Now, the next stage in our veggie garden is to give it a nice, gentle feed. Organic pellets are definitely the way to go. Oh, don't worry about it if it's raining, that's perfect. Remember the pellets actually last three, four, five months, so it's really gonna feed our little veggies right the way through the season. Okay, now I wanna grow some dwarf climbing plants like peas, beans, snow peas, and I'm just gonna put in these little wire frames. Of course, they hook in, are really great space savers. Here, I'm planting more perennial types of herbs. I'm going to plant the prostrate rosemary on the corner here. It's just going to spill over and won't take up too much space. It's a great time of the year. In fact, this weekend, perfect for planting out what we call all the winter veggies. These are broccolini or broccolino or bambino. There's a lot of different names for them. If you planted them this weekend, you'd still be harvesting them close to Christmas. How good's that? That's a fantastic crop. And, of course, it's a great time for all the Asian greens. Wong bok, bok choy, all of those. Now, when you're sowing carrots, the big problem is all the seed ends up on top of each other and the little seedlings all fighting for space. The easiest and the quickest way is with seed tape. All you've got to do is put down a little seed bed of sand and then you just run the tape out. It is so easy. got a couple of different types of chilies and the warm parts of Australia can actually plant the chilies all year round. Cathy actually makes an organic insecticide and her formula is a couple of chilies, throw in a couple of garlic, two cups of uh, soap flakes, add the water and you've got a beautiful organic spray for your vegetable garden. We're just planting in some flowers because it's going to attract the bees during the winter months to pollinate your crop. Wow! Oh my <laughs> gosh! It looks amazing, absolutely! Nice and high. Wow. No bending. Either side oh. you can harvest, you can sit here, you can weed. It's going to make my life a lot easier gardening from now on. Well, as promised, 
He's my relish. <laughs> Your relish. Look at that tomato relish. Yeah. Thank you, sweet. No problems, Graham. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, I absolutely love it.